Hello, my name is Marek and in this short video I am going to show you how to start working with BMC Control M. So first before we log in we need to add our connection profile. We need to add some server testing server. So this will be control M test one and the same will be the host. Here we need to choose from this drop down local EM and that's it. After that we we can log in to control M. So use your credentials. You should already have it. And wait a few seconds. So in this video we are going to show you how to create a blank workspace, some simple jobs with uh, conditions and resources and so on and so on. So we need just to wait. Okay, so we are in, so let's go to create blank workspace and add some job there. So we will choose OS job from here and just click it and drag it here. So it will create our job and also there was a folder created automatically so what we need to do is to rename this folder with our prefix and some folder name so for example test folder number one I will copy my prefix because we need it also here we need to change the name of our job it will be also our prefix and job name let's say job number one next what we need to do is to choose which kind of job this is going to, going to be so if script command or embedded script in this case we will use command and use command time out of five seconds that our job will wait five seconds and then it will end OK. Next we need to fill host and run as. You should also get this from somebody. So host or know it maybe. Run it as this user and the last thing we need to fill is our prefix and application name and also sub application name could be the same but we will name it like this and now we are we have simple job ready to ready for order so let's order let's go order it Order. And the database already contains a folder with the same name. Okay, so we need to choose some add name of our folder. So it will be test folder X number one, for example. So let's order it again. Order, order. Well, now it's okay and let's go to monitoring to see what's happening so all active jobs and as you can see our job is running because it was yellow and it ended after five seconds as ended okay so so we will delete this now and create some more jobs we need to, when you want to delete a job from here you need to hold it first 
and after that more actions and delete yes so now we don't have anything in our monitoring so let's go back to planning and before you can edit again you need to check out and now we are able to edit these jobs so click on the job you created before and uh, there is a shortcut Control D and it will duplicate your job so you don't need to fill all of these things uh, again it's a good shortcut because as you can see in your right click menu you don't have this uh, option to duplicate you, sh you have to copy and paste so it's uh, it took longer than Control D so Control D is very useful so we, now we are going to rename our job number 2 and uh, make some simple conditions between these two jobs so just easily click this triangle under the job and click it and drag it and put it on the job number 2 so we will connect these two jobs now when you click on this triangle and you can see the name of this condition but it's too long and uh, when you have more jobs it could be some kind of uh, it's better to rename it I want to say so you know better what it is what condition it is so let's say we will name it as our prefix and condition one okay and we can go to we can go to monitoring first we will order it and uh, go to monitoring to check how it works so monitoring expand all and as you can see our first job started is executing now after five seconds it ends ok and gives condition to our job number two and this job starts to and after five seconds should end also end it ok so this was the simple job flow using the conditions we will delete it again so hold yes and delete and now we are going to learn how to create the job flow using the resources not conditions so we will duplicate these two jobs again so select your jobs and uh, use ctrl D now we have two other jobs that we want to delete our condition yes so they are not connected together now we will name them as a job a and job b okay once again so job a and job b so now i will order these two jobs to our through to our monitoring to our flow and uh, we will see what happened now there are there is no condition between them so these two jobs will start at once and also should end at once like it like you could see now so we will delete it again and show you how to use resources if you don't want to run your jobs at once so for this purpose there are resources in uh, job settings we have two kind of resources there are control resources and quantitative resources now i'm going to show you control resources so click the job you want to 
modify and we will add resource you need to name it somehow so we will use res and choose exclusive from the drop down menu and the same thing we need to do in job b res and also exclusive resource and now we will order these two jobs again to see what happens so okay as you can see job b started and uh, job A is waiting for resource so when job B ended job A get resource and can start to so it's doesn't matter which one will start the first but they won't run at once so now we can hold it again okay and delete it again okay so now we are going to order whole folder as you can see how it works with conditions and with resources so as you can see now job a started first and job one there is no condition between these two jobs like here but they are running one by one when you want some of these jobs run first you you can set up priorities in uh, job settings so i will show you where but first i need to delete them okay so if you want your job b to start first and after that to run job a you need to select or set up priorities in a general tab in a job settings you need to go to the bottom and choose priority from the drop down menu so we will set this job B as uh, very with priority very high and job A with priority very low the thing is there is a book back in control M when you use smart normal folder it won't take this priority and it will start job A first and after that job B so we need to change this folder to smart folder and this smart folder has some mandatory fields that we need to fill again so the same settings as in our jobs so run s and that's it i think so we can try it okay we will order whole folder again yes order done monitoring so as you can see now job b started first and uh, job a is waiting well it's already has already started and but was waiting for resource until job b ends the other thing is here so here the job wants started first and job two after that so these were some simple examples of conditions and uh, resources in control m and we will make some other videos for the next things so thank you for now bye bye